Hey guys, Nathan here and welcome to a, uh, a tutorial video. Today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can um, show what track you're playing when you're live streaming, uh, whatever game you're playing using XSplit. And this is using Spotify with Spotify controller server. Now the links will be in the description and if I cannot find this one I'm sorry but you know just search it up Spotify controller server because I believe it's been taken down but you can get it still some places. Um, so yeah. So what do I mean by this? Basically what I mean is when you kind of have a, you know, someone in the bottom left corner it says the name of the song and the artist because people always like to ask and it's a really useful thing to have when you're live streaming because it stops people asking questions like that and also it's just like it's a nice bit of professionalism as well to add. So how do we do this? Well first of all you want to have Spotify up. Spotify, 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 Spotify up. And you want to play a song so make like just to make sure you link it up you've got to start playing any random songs so I'm just going to put in Radioactive Why Not click the play button, I'm going to mute it so it doesn't get copyrighted or anything. And uh, once the song's playing in the background, click start and click on song info. This is going to pop up and it's going to say the name of the song. What you want to do is copy the URL that you're seeing here. And I'm going to leave that running. And then you want to right click, uh, you want to go on file and next clip and do add title. Wait for it to load up. Leave this blank, so I'm just going to leave it blank for now. You want to click on check remote text update and scrolling. I use five seconds, but it's up to you. It's just refreshing the song, you know, so five seconds would normally take the time to get into the song. And you want to paste that URL into here. That's all you need to do. Click OK. And as you can see, it's playing it here. And of course, you, know, you can change the color and stuff by going into it and things like that. But, you know, and stretch it and what you want. But, you know, I might have at the corner and you can add this in using a fancy border and you know if I change the song now let's just say to how about this one you know it will take five seconds and there you go fly rider wild one so it updates you know you can change your remote update what you want but I think five seconds is a nice one to have this was a simple tutorial once you're done you know you just click stop so it doesn't run in the background and then you know to get the song info you have to start it I will put the links in the description for you guys um, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. It's a simple quick tutorial, but you know, it's something useful if you didn't know already and for live streaming. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe anyway if you're new and you like my content. So thanks for watching guys and see you later.